Welcome back to TechWasthe again guys and today we will discuss how we can set up the MongoDB which is the another NoSQL database uh, in your local environment setup or development environment setup with the help of our favorite beloved docker container so as usual we have to go to the visit the docker hub which is the official site and we have to you have to visit the this link you can click on this link which we will add into the description and then uh, you have to explore what is the mongo image so basically mongodb is the another nosql document based database okay so first you have to pull the uh, image uh, mongodb image which i have provided just the command so i just started uh, downloading the image i just pull the image from the docker hub once that image pull is get completed then we will we will uh, check and uh, run the below commands to uh, create the container by running that image once that image is available then we will check using the verification steps using the docker ps docker logs mongodb and finally we have to access the cli or the mongo cli by executing the bash command so we have to first access the bash and on that bash we have to execute the mongo command to access the cli and we'll create them some sample database and we'll create the sample collection and we'll try to pull the same data using that cli so th this is the uh, agenda for this today's tutorial before that you can subscribe to my channel and uh, every uh, every time I'll come up with the different different NoSQL database setup and try to set up those using the local and how we can access those either using the applications or using the different CLI tool or the different UI tools. Okay, so now our image is ready. So we will just do the verification whether our, our images is available or not. So we have the Mongo image available which is the latest one and the same image with the size okay so size is around the 449 mb okay now go ahead and run the image to create the container okay we will mention the image and which is in the detached mode one to execute and name of the container is mongodb and the container name okay so our container is created okay so let's just verify so our mongo is created okay so mongo which is seven seconds ago so we can just verify using the logs okay docker logs okay config system session something is not exist something is not exist some logs were able to see okay okay let's see we'll try to access the mongodb good we have access the mongodb okay so if you look here i will just expand bit if you look here the mongo shell what is the mongo shell version okay it has just expressed the mongodb server version welcome to mongodb so we are able to actually access the mongo cli okay which is the command line interface provided by the mongodb now we are inside the container now let's see and we'll created the one database that is the emp we mentioned that is the emp let's create the collection collection you can consider uh, i mean not exactly the database but we can assume this is the one table which we have created okay collection means one table which we have created inside the database <coughs> emp okay so we have created the collection as well so we wanted to insert the data into that collection okay so we'll just this is the nosql database so this is not attached with any schema so we have created the inside the collection we have created one database inside that we have created the one collection take was the and inside that we have inserted the three records using the command db take was the dot insert many so we'll just verify whatever we have inserted whether we are able to access or not okay whether it's inserted properly or not so find is the one method which we can use to find the data so we haven't provided any argument that means it will return all the records and we wanted to prettify the response that's why 
we have used a pretty but if you execute without the pretty the output looks a bit messy okay so you are not able to get what exactly it is so we just wanted to prettify that so that you will be able to get that what are the existing records are there how many records are there what ex actually data is there okay so for now uh, for this tutorial this is the fine you can subscribe to our channel and watch the different videos about the docker development setup and the spring tutorials and different different open source technologies thanks for watching and have a good day thank you